Madeline Hunter was one of the leaders in instruction in the last century. And what she did is she observed outstanding teachers and she made a list of seven different things. Now, because the brain thinks in threes and fours, I broke them down into three. The first is anticipate. That is, what are you going to do when the kids come into the classroom? What's the first thing that you're going to have them do? They, as I mentioned earlier, you've got to have some kind of sponge activity. Then the second part is the actual learning, the teaching and the learning. The third part, reflection, is what we do not emphasize enough. If you've had the experience, as I have had, where you have taught something, and then the next day you go to review, and it's if the kids had never learned what you taught the previous day. And the reason is, your teaching went into memory, short-term memory, instead of long-term memory. What you need to do is to have kids reflect at the end of every lesson. Now, there are a few ways you can do this. You can have a learning log, like, what did I learn? Or what do I need to work on? Or my favorite is a, a keeper journal, where the kids would write down one thing that they learned under your tutelage. And assuming you did this at the beginning of a school year, of 180 days, they would have at least 180 things that they learned from you talking about having a long-term effect on the future generation. Or another thing you could do is just have a, a diary. What did I learn today? And, uh, uh, or what did uh, I need uh, to work on? What did I do that I could do better? And uh, uh, what can I do about it? The point is that before kids leave your classroom, you should have a think, pair, share. Think, pair, share, meaning you give the kids one minute to think about what they've learned, and then they talk with each other, each for one minute. So it's a three-minute activity. Talking to yourself, reviewing to yourself, is not nearly as effective as talking to one other person. And it's rather quite obvious when you're talking to yourself, so many neurons in your brain are working. But when you're articulating it out loud, even if it's into a mirror, if you're saying out loud, you realize, oh, I, I thought I know that. I thought I knew that I'd better go back and re recheck this because you're continually becoming more effective in your reflection when you articulate it out loud.